Hi. Today we are going to discuss about a new topic that is finding the minimum and maximum element of an array of n elements, right? So suppose this is my array in which I have taken eight elements starting from zero to seven, and I want to find out the minimum and maximum element of this array using the principle of divide and conquer, right? So divide and conquer is saying that if it is a big problem, we have to divide into number of sub problems, similar sub problems. So here in my earlier video, I have explained what is the size of the sub problem means if the element is a no single element, thus then that we can say that this is the small problem or sub problem. We can solve it with single instance, but here we will feel the difference and the recurrence relation also will be changed. Let us go how it will be solved and what is the strategy behind the finding the minimum and maximum elements of an array. So suppose my array is this and this is my elements. What I will do? I will divide this array into number of sub arrays. So I will take my lowest element as the starting index that is 0 and highest element as the n minus 1 element that is 7 here in my this array. So what I will do? I will take and find out a mid. So mid is equal to here 0 plus 7 divided by 2. So that is equal to 3. So in this place I have divided this array into two ply. One is from 6, 3, 4 and 11. Another one is 16, 2, 15 and 7. After that I checked whether there is the, my problem is bigger or smaller. So again I feel that my problem is bigger and I want to solve it by using the principle of divide and conquer. Again I have taken this one as low and this one as high, divided it and I found out the mid here and again I divided the array into two sub array that is a 6, 3 in the left side, 4 and 11 in the right side. Same way here in this side also 16 and 2 in the left side and 15 and 7 in the right side. Now I will check my problem is to find out the minimum and maximum. If the number of element is 2, one will be minimum and one will be maximum. In this case, we will not go for the further division that is in 6 and 3. If you will divide it, no problem, but it will be, this one will be the minimum and this one will be the maximum. And in the right side, this one will be the minimum and this one will be the maximum. We have to again compare it. So to avoid unnecessary comparison, so what we have done, now we have our, we keep our sub problem as 2 and when the array size is 2 then one is your minimum and another one is your maximum. So if this one is your minimum so in this array min element is 3 max element is 6 in this array min is 4 max is 11 in this array min is 2 max is 16 in this array min is 7 and max is 15. So what I will do again I will come back and concur it. So for this two array, I will compare with the mean of this and mean of this. If this mean is less than this mean, then I will assign this mean to the parent node. That means here this mean is 3, this mean is 4, so final mean will be come to the parent that is 3. And max is 11, here max is 6, so final max will be 11 for this two sub problem after solution. For this also same way I can get this min is 2 and this min is 7 so final min is equal to 2 and max is 16 and max is 15 so final max is 16. So now if I will solve this 2 also then I will get the final min is equal to 2 max is equal to 16. So this is the principle of divide and conquer to finding the minimum and maximum of an array of n elements one gate questions usually comes so now let us write the algorithm how to solve this and how to analyze this suppose my array is like this i have i have noted here so i will erase it i'll just note my uh, numbers 6 3 4 11 16 2 15 and 7 for uh, my analysis and now we are going to write the min max algorithm suppose divide and conquer min max so what we need here only two elements needed i and j 
here you can declare your array as globally integer array of 100 and mean and max also you can declare it uh, as a global that is int min and max so what you will do now this is suppose our min max algorithm we are going to write i already told you that if there are two elements one is min and one is max if there are only one element that one is min and that one is max we should not have to compare so first thing is we should have to check if our i equal to equal to j that means if there are only one elements is there then that element is min and that element is max so min is equal to max is equal to a of i or j whatever you can write so if this is not the case then else case how many elements are there now else there is a possible of two elements that means i equal to equal to j minus 1 there are two elements are there if there are two elements are there we have to compare them means what we will compare now if a of i is less than a of j then who is maximum the maximum is equal to a of j right if a of i is less than a of j then maximum is equal to this and minimum is equal to minimum is equal to a of i else case else case maximum is equal to a of i and minimum is equal to a of j now after if there are not two elements so i have concluded my this if if there are no two elements then what we have to do now we will go for else else what we will do now else we have to do that we have to calculate the mid so find out the mid mid is equal to i plus j divided by 2 and in these cases what you will do you take one mean uh, mean one and one max one you can declare it it will be helpful for you max one and mean one i will tell you why i have taken to two another variable so after dividing it to two i said that if my array suppose these are my array elements i already told you that i have taken for reference if these are my array elements if it's bigger i will divide it into by two what i will first now one min max i divide and concure my algorithm name min max i will pass i to mid and another divide and concure min max j to sorry mid plus 1 or mid to you can take mid plus 1 to j these are the two elements you will pass now what you will do now you should have to compare assign whatever you got mean one is equal to your mean and max one is equal to your max why i have taken this after suppose this is my saw array here in these cases i have divided it as uh, six 3, 4, 11 and in these cases I have divided 16, 2, 15 and 7. Now what we will do? Now in these cases I got two elements. One is my max, one is my mean. So what is my max? Now this is my max is uh, here that is uh, 16 and my mean is here that is 2. Here for max is actually 11, mean is actually 3. So now what will be happen in the end? Eh? This max will be compared with this and this mean will compare with this this will take an, another extra two comparisons so after this what will be the mean one value and max one value that this is your actually this is your max one and this is your max 
2 and mean 1 mean 2 like this so if you will go for this uh, recursive relation think about max and mean and you compare like this now what we will do now we have to compare another two comparisons needed what is that if your max is less than whatever max you got by recursively if that is less than your every time you are assigning your max with max 1 and mean with mean 1 if your max is less than max 1 that means your bigger element is max 1 so you should have to say that max is equal to max 1 else else so in else cases also you should have to check if your mean 1 greater than mean then if your mean 1 uh, sorry if your mean is mean is greater than mean 1 then this mean 1 is your mean so mean is equal to mean 1 so this is your final this is your if else this is your if this is your else another if you will write and finally this will be your conclusion and in these cases what will be happened when these two array we will get to get the final array we have to compare these two these two and another two comparisons that i have taken here now we will go for the time complexity how it will execute so now you tell me if whenever we will write the recurrence relation for this we will write like this tn is equal to if my problem is only one then mean is equal to max is equal to a of i no comparison that means if problem is one no comparison if a problem is a two how many comparisons are there now if problem is a two only a of i less than a of j then max mean we will get otherwise this so if there are two problems we will go for only one condition if there my value is two we will go for solution is one solution else cases we will divide our array here to t n by 2 and here to t n by 2 so two times we are dividing this array and we are getting the solution so after this division how many comparisons we are doing now if min 1 less than uh, max 1 max less than max 1 one comparison and else mean greater than mean one one comparison so two comparisons we are doing so this is equal to 2 t n by 2 plus number of comparison is equal to 2 if n greater than equal to greater than 2 if this is n is equal to 1 n is equal to 2 if there are two elements then this if there are greater than two elements then this this is the recurrence relation for the quick sort now we will go for the solution of this recurrence relation and how it will give you the time complexity now let us go for solution for this recurrence relation i'm solving it now we got what we get tn is equal to this that means tn is equal to 2t n by 2 plus 2 in case of n greater than equal to 2 so tn by 2 is equal to you put simply n in n plus n by 2 so 2 t n plus n by 2 divided by 2 that is n by 4 plus 2 and t n by 4 is equal to you put n in n plus n by 4 so 2 t in n plus n by 4 that will be n by 8 plus 2 so this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 now we will solve this now these are our parameters we will go through this now t n is equal to you said 2 into t n by 2 plus 2 you simply replace n by 2 this value so 2 will be here and in case of n by 2 this plus 2 is there in case of t n by 2 i put at this what is this 2 t n by 4 plus 2 so this will be what is 2 to the power 2 t n by 2 to the power 2 plus 2 square plus 2 to the power 1 now this is t n by 4 put this value so this is equal to 2 square in this place in this place only i will put this value that is 2 t n by 8 plus 2 plus 2 square plus 2 
then what will be this the 2 into 2 that is 2 to the power 3 t n by 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 1 so this is an actually a gp we will solve it now if on the kth step it will be 2 to the power k t n by 2 to the power k plus this gp formula is what is that a into r to the power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 this is the formula for this gp we will go that here a is equal to 2 r is equal to 2 also so now let us take this this will be 2 to the power k plus 2 to the power k minus 1 that, that up to 2 to the power 1 now this is actually 2 to the power 2 into 2 to the power k minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 this this formula this is 2 into 2 to the power k minus 1 this one so for this i have to replace this for this so what i will write so this 2 to the power k n by 2 to the power k the termination condition here is if n equal to 2 we will choose this termination condition then t, this uh, termination condition n by 2 to the power k we will choose it as 2 so let us take n by 2 to the power k is equal to 2 so n by 2 to the power k if you will take 2 so that implies 2 to the power k is equal to n by 2 and that implies 2 to the power k plus 1 also is equal to n so these two you keep it in your mind now we will replace it what we will replace now this is equal to 2 to the power k so 2 to the power k is equal to we can place n by 2 and this will be our termination condition t n by 2 to the power k 2 to the power k we have taken and so this is equal to 1 that is equal to terminated so that will be 1 plus 2 to the power k plus 2 to the power k minus 1 up to 2 the gp is 2 into 2 to the power k minus 1 by 2 minus 1 so this will be 2 into 2 to the power k minus 1 so this will be n by 2 plus 2 to the power k plus 1 minus 1 so this will be if you will take this uh, 2 to the power k plus 1 that is n so n by 2 plus n minus 1 so this will be actually if you will go for this sorry this will be 2 after multiplication of this uh, formula it will be 2 so this bracket i have missed so now this will be this and this will be uh, 2n plus n divided by 2 minus 2 that will be 3n by 2 minus 2 so finally we will get the solution is tn is equal to 3n by 2 plus 2 this is the time complexity of this now one gate question every year it came that if there are n distinct elements are there then what is the minimum number of comparison required to find out the minimum and maximum elements of that array the question is like that what is that gate question if there are n distinct elements are there we have to find out the total number of comparisons so if there are uh, last year in 2017 one gate question came that if there are 100 elements are there in the array what is the minimum number of uh, comparison required to find the mean and max so simply 100 into 3 divided by 2 sorry this is minus minus 2 that will be 300 by 2 that will be 150 minus 2 that will be 148 this is the answer for this 2017 gate questions so this is all about the mean max algorithm thank you